Hey guys, welcome to another video here on Food Chain TV. So you want to know how to pick a ripe, sweet, juicy pineapple? Well, keep watching this video and I'll show you the four things to look for that will help you choose the perfect pineapple. Now the first and most important thing that you want to look for in the pineapple is the color. Now I'm going to cover some common pineapples that you'll find in most North American stores. So we're going to cover the Del Monte Gold Pineapple and this pineapple called the MD2 which you probably never heard of but it's literally like everywhere okay so this is a very common pineapple so when you're looking at the color you're gonna want a pineapple that has a little bit of green and a lot of yellow alright now the pineapple is not gonna be fully yellow because the North American stores don't have those we have the ones that are specifically uh, a little bit green and a little bit yellow so for the Del Monte here it's got these beautiful little diamonds and in the middle of each diamond it's got a beautiful little shade of yellow and on the outside of the diamonds it has a beautiful shade of green and they're just well they're beautiful little beautiful little pineapples they're made that way and the other most common pineapple like I mentioned the MD2 it's not gonna be as pretty as the Del Monte gold but it's gonna have nice blotches of yellow and it's gonna have some green but you want you know you want at least half of the thing to be yellow and that's the first thing that you're looking at now here is an example of a pineapple that's totally green it is not ripe and this is the pineapple that you wanna pick up squeeze you wanna tap on it notice how hard it is notice it's all green it has no yellow on it so you wanna put it back on the shelf and then on the other hand we have this one here that's just way too ripe you can see that it's yellow all over and it's actually starting to get little blotches of brown and like I said before in North America and in part of Europe the pineapples that you're gonna find in your grocery store are not gonna be fully yellow like this okay so by the time they get to this point and I'm talking about you know those MD2's or the Del Monte apples by the time they get yellow like this and kind of squishy uh, they're overly ripe and these are not the ones that you want and even though this is obvious, I'm going to mention it. If you pick up the pineapple and it's moldy and it's got a nasty little moldy butt, do not get it. All right, now the second thing that you're looking for is the leaves. The leaves will tell you if the pineapple is fresh or not. A fresh pineapple will have nice, healthy looking green leaves. And an old pineapple will have these nasty little brown leaves that just don't look so good. You know, they're all dried up and shriveled up and have little brown bits on them. So you definitely want to avoid those. Now here's a cool little trick that you can do. A pineapple that's ripe, if you grab the top leaf, you know, the leaf at the very top, and you pull it, it should come out really, really easily. And if you try to pull the top leaf out of a pineapple that's not ripe yet, like this one, you're going to really struggle. Like with this pineapple here, I'm just showing you. See how hard it is to pull that leaf out? I mean, it eventually comes out, but that's to show you that it's not ripe. All right, now the third thing that you're looking for is the weight. The pineapple should be nice and heavy, so you take it in your hands and you feel the weight. That means that it's juicy and full of water. Okay, A light pineapple is all dried out, so you don't want to buy a light pineapple. You want to make sure that it's nice and heavy. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to smell it. A ripe pineapple will have a really nice smell. You'll be able to know what it tastes like just by smelling it. If you follow these four steps, you'll be able to choose a nice, juicy, sweet pineapple. In the next part of this video, we'll compare some pineapples and I'll show you how to cut them. All right, guys, so now we're in the kitchen and as a famous Texan once said, all right, all right, all right, let's get right into this. So I brought home three different pineapples here. I have a pineapple that is uh, not yet ripe, so this is green. This is the, a green MD2. And this is an MD2 with a little bit of yellowing on it, okay, which should be because we followed all the four different steps, a nice, ripe, juicy, sweet pineapple. And this over here is going to be uh, a perfect example of a Del Monte Gold pineapple. You know, we followed all the steps. Um, you know, for these two pineapples, they have beautiful green over here. We have really nice color. If you pick them up and smell them, they smell beautiful and they're nice and heavy. All right, let's get right into this and I'm gonna cut into each one of these pineapples. Okay, so right away, you can see that these two are nice and yellow and this one's still kind of pale, you know, almost white. So let's start with this one that I know is too green. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of flesh here with the melon baller and give it a little taste. Okay, so this one here is really sour. Okay, now we're gonna go to the ripe MD2. 
Okay, let's give that a little taste. I can see here that it's really juicy. Okay, that is nice and sweet and juicy. Now let's take a little taste of this Del Monte Gold. Again, it looks pretty juicy. Flesh is nice and soft, just like this one. Okay, again, this is beautiful. Nice and juicy, sweet, a little bit tart. This one here is also sweet, but it's more sour than sweet, and I actually like that. I want sweet and sour. Some people like just mostly sweet, okay? I don't represent any of these companies. I really don't care which pineapple you buy, but I'm just choosing these two, the MD2 and the Del Monte, just because I know most of your grocery stores have them, all right? So this proves that following those four steps can lead you to a nice, sweet, juicy pineapple. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you guys how to cut them. So there's basically two things that you can do with a pineapple. You can cut it into slices or you can cut it into little chunks. Okay, so I'll do one, I'll show you both different kinds of cuts. So the first thing I like to do is get rid of the top. Okay, so we'll put this here, nice little garnish. Okay, then you cut the bottom off. And now you cut the, let's call it the skin. Okay, you cut off the skin. Okay, and you want to cut it deep enough so that, see these little indentations, the little spots? Those are like the seeds, right? See, like this here and that there. You want to cut those off because these are actually kind of, I don't know how to describe it, they're kind of like spicy in your mouth if you eat them. Okay, so you probably don't want to eat that. So let me do this on an angle here so you can see it. Okay, so you want to cut strips off like that. Okay. And it may seem a little wasteful, but you don't really want those little seeds. Okay, so we get rid of that. And here you're left with a nice processed pineapple. And what I like to do is if I missed any of those seeds, I go back. See, here's one, see? You can actually see the little seed there. See it on the tip of my knife there? Okay, you don't want to eat those seeds. Okay, so just trim it up. There's a couple of seeds here. All right, so now you're left with this trunk of pineapple. And now what I want to do is, see this is the core. So we want to get rid of the core. And there's actually all these little gadgets and gizmos that they sell to get rid of the core. But, you know, let's just be practical and use a knife. So you cut it right down the middle. Okay, so you're going to see that it has the core here. Okay, and we're just gonna do a little V cut. So one side, V, right here, V. And there we go, we get rid of that core. Now over here we can cut this into slices, just like that. Go over to the plate, and I kinda like to squish them this way so they look nice and beautiful when you present it. And into the plate. Squish them this way. Okay, check that out. Now we're gonna get this nice ripe MD2 pineapple. We're cut it the same way, but I'm gonna show you how to cut little chunks. Okay, so again, down the middle, do the V cut to get rid of that middle part. Okay, trim it up if you need to. And now I'm gonna cut it into nice long pieces and then I cut across the long pieces like this. And this gives me little cubes or little chunks. And I'll just put them here in the middle of my fruit bowl. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I love making these videos for you guys. If you'd like to help my channel grow and support what I do, please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Your subscriptions help me spend more time making videos like this just for you. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is Christian saying happy pineappling to you.